why do you host travelers? Um, well, that's a good question. I think primarily because of this uh, property and these holdings are more than I can uh, manage by myself. It's probably the main reason I started looking for volunteer help. Where are you from and why did you come here? I'm from England, specifically Cheltenham in Gloucestershire. And I came here because I loved the mount. I went on a trip to Poland and loved the mountains and the woods and wanted to experience that again. And I'm also an American citizen, so I thought, where, where better to go than Northwest America? So I originally came to Williams uh, in Southern Oregon. That's where Alex and Leo were staying at the time. Uh, the lady we were working for was kind of friendly at first, but the hours that we were working increased. Um, we kind of started losing downtime on the weekends. We were expected to stay at the property. She has since been removed because she's had so many complaints against her. Um, but so we kind of left in kind of poor circumstances with her but by that time Alex, I had got along with Alex and Leah enough that they said hey come with us. We're from Minnesota, slightly Oregon. The last people we stayed with she met a girl from France because she was doing woofing. They host woofing and so she got a French girl in there and she was trying to decide like throughout the world where she wanted to live and she picked Trout Lake. We started with his dad, I guess you could call that, like our first work exchange. Yes, yeah. For two, three months For while we three were months finding in Gold a workplace. Beach. Yeah, and then we found the one in Williams. I think we've done like seven. So Why did you start doing that? Because uh, we wanted to travel and... Meet people. Meet people and not have a eight to five job in a cubicle. Is there one... Uh, like kind of most memorable experience you've had with uh, a particular individual or? Not really. There's something about everyone that I like. You know, some people are, just about everybody seems to have a talent in some arena of, their, of life that's beyond the average person, it seems. Yeah, we had a group of uh, three different nationalities who came all together. We had um, someone, a woman from China who was dating a guy from Ukraine and then their friend was Russian. And so they just had so many different stories to offer and um, they were just really great people. And they stayed, they were originally gonna stay for two weeks and they ended up staying for two months. <laughs> so a lot of time beyond what they had thought in the beginning um, and I really liked them and learned a lot from them so I'd say they were they weren't necessarily my favorite but they impacted me the most I think that also was a, a new experience for me it was like somebody who wasn't American and these people were very different so I'd say they had the biggest impact on me how does hosting people like make your life different it makes my life different because there's uh, more people in my life, more people to interact with. It every it balances out, I think. Uh, I mean, appreciate and love people and their contributions they make. At the same time, having people is also a responsibility too. You know? I can see. Um, from the host's point of view, so from Jack's point of view, it is, it's a very big, you're being quite open and vulnerable to complete strangers, as in they can, they are all entering your property and you're giving them time to teach them things which you could possibly do yourself, but you, then letting people learn and make those mistakes and being able to learn lessons and understandings um, seems it seems quite that's 
very selfless, I think. And I, as a worker, I enjoy helping people and I, I would rather, I would rather work than Jack have to work. It's kind of being selfless for selfish reasons because by helping other people that makes me feel feel good and I enjoy that that what I've done has helped someone else and also that it makes me feel be feel better. Mm -hmm. My daughter has written different things about uh, when she has to write something about her life she mentions uh, many guests from all over the world, I, I mean, not all over the world, but from different places in the world, and uh, that's been a real good experience for her, and, and me too, mm -hmm. to uh, just get different perspectives on what life is like in different areas of this country or different areas of the world. Yeah, and, and then also, you know, our similarities, too, I think, probably more important. Oh, people are pretty much, have pretty much the same uh, desires and faults and likes and dislikes, what we have in common, you know, so I think right. it's, been, it's been educational for, for both of us. Even though we haven't been doing this work away thing for that long. Um, we've had a lot of people and they just come from all over the world. And I think it's really cool to get a sense of different places. And I've certainly learned something valuable from every single work away guest that I've had. So it impacts me in a way where there's stuff, there's always stuff going on. Um, something new is happening and I really like that. And I also just like learning about people and how other people live. And so that's been really cool. If you could sum up one major complaint about the typical American lifestyle, what do you think that would be? Our culture, it's hard to blame people for what they do because of our culture and so much immersion into that culture that, that it's easy to be lost in it. You know, I think we're, we're all amazing and we're all messed up. Both. School. Just like not learning hands on things. I mean, I think you're kind of expected to learn things at home as well, but I'm very involved with school, so even, all, I mean, I know more than the average like teenager hands on things, but it'd be cool to know how to build something or like work on a car, but they don't teach you that in school. So I think that is just like, like what real, are, real world. Real world skills. application, yeah. I mean, I learn like social skills and all that, and that's real world, which is important, but I don't learn anything that I can actually do, which is kind of weird when you think about it. <laughs> it's sad. Uh, as far as I've experienced, because it's part of the reason why I came out here is American TV life and American actual life is very different, and so I've only got a experience of, since February, of actual Americans' lives. If the typical American is the thing that I've seen from TV or news or YouTube or whatever, it's quite selfish, I guess, is the, the stereotype. It's, they think of themselves more than they think of others. They drive around in big, fuel guzzling SUVs to just go down the road. <laughs> they eat to excess and they throw away more food than should be thrown away. Um, and they don't necessarily care where, where things come from. It's the stereotype, so those would be the complaints. That's kind of similar. There are people like that in England as well. And it's a, that's the qualms I have. Um, the lifestyle that I, I have been trying to get away from and kind of counteract is mm -hmm. it's 
the the overindulgence and kind of cutthroat attitude where so long as I get get ahead, it doesn't really matter what happens to others. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at least they the majority have some of those attributes, not necessarily mm-hmm. yeah. like yeah. Too busy. Pain into the useless system of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not for it. Pain in, pain in, pain in, pain in, pain in, to get screwed when you're old. It's kind of odd because I'm a Christian, but I'm increasingly seeing more and more of like how Christianity isn't really, I don't know, I'm just starting to see a lot of more faults with Christianity. What religion do you practice, if anything, and does it have any effect on your hosting decisions? I think uh, if I had a religion, it would be just nature seeing nature as a manifestation of God. If if God or the force created nature, then nature is a manifestation of the force. And that's probably my main religious thought. So if people come here with different religious backgrounds, I'm, I don't have a problem with it until they start uh, trying to convince me or mm-hmm. convince me they're right. Then, then that's that's definitely a problem. What do you love about America? Probably the land. It's pretty mm-hmm. sweet. It's a Landscapes classic. and geography is here. It's beautiful. The scenery and the environment is of what I've seen so far of the Northwest. It's just beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. The people here. I don't know if this is because it's country rather than city, but everyone's everyone's friendly and it feels genuine. And that's good to see and kind of unusual from where I come from. I think people people here are trying to make a difference and they're they're trying to do good. I would say the diversity of like you have the East Coast, which all of, a lot of my mom's family is from, and then I live on the West Coast, and just those two, in contrast, are like completely different places. And so I think that's pretty cool that I can hop hop on a plane and go somewhere else and see a totally different side of America than where I live on the West Coast. So there's just like a lot here. There's a lot to explore, and I appreciate that. I love the bullshit line that they gave us. You know, land of the free. But it's all a lie, but it sounded good. And you know, the whole idea that we're free. Perhaps we are compared to other countries. Compared to other countries, perhaps the American dream is not, is, has some validity of freedom. And freedom to have, uh, to be a liberal, progressive thinker if you want to be, you know, so that would be one of the things I like about this country, freedom of expression, freedom of thought. Has, has this experience with Jack um, met your expectations as far as work exchanges go? I am very glad to have arrived at Jack's because he knows a lot about areas that I'm interested in, such as identifying plants and uh, just like, I remember the first day I got here, he was telling me about the difference between heartwood and sapling wood on how to cut a log. And it's just like, he's very knowledgeable about just simple things. And that's the kind of things that interest me at the moment is being able to look after yourself in in not necessarily a wilderness environment, but without having to rely on an outside source, which is self-sustainable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, with regards to the work exchange, this is a very this is a very relaxed and calm environment, and I've definitely enjoyed my time here. It's it's been really good. 